Hi Libra, this is Mary Shri Yamasha Ashtaloka. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Librans out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Libras. What is it that you need to hear from me? Alright, just one more time. Okay, Librans out there. Your first card is this one though. Four of Pentacles along with the Ace of Pentacles. Six of Cups behind. It seems like you're holding on to something. Okay, you want this. Something from the past. Okay, you want to have this again. You don't want this to slip out of your hand. You are holding on to this very tightly. Okay, you want this to work. That kind of energy, whatever it is about. You want things to go back to where it was once upon a time. All right. You're not willing to let go. You're hoping for another chance with that Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like things are not working out right now. How it was, look at this person. Oh, sorry, look at this picture. There are two people who is, you know, having a happy time, being together. You know, it could be friendship, it could be relationship, it could be family time, blah, blah, blah. It is once upon a time. You had this. I don't see it right now. All right? You guys are not on a good, uh, you know, good place right now. Not on the same page anymore. But one person is not willing to let go. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion or cancerian. What is your next card, please? See, your next card is this one. I don't know why you, you're getting multiple cards. Yes, most positive card in this deck. You want to get back together again. You want things to get better brighter beautiful okay like the sun card yes ace of swords you've decided this is what you want to have that opportunity earlier we got the ace of pentacles now we've got the ace of wands you want to have this you made up we got the ace of swords as well triple triple aces it's it's almost like you're very clear about this you want this in your life again. Okay? That is why you're not willing to let go. All right. What is your next card, please? You're hoping for that intimacy. If it's a relationship situation, you're hoping for the intimacy to return. For things to go back to where it was once upon a time. How it was once upon a time. Moving on. Your next card is this one. That's the last of the aces. This is the fourth ace which is coming through. The ace of cups. In the center of your reading. As blunt as that. You're very uh, defensive about this. I want this. It's a cup full of happiness. It's a cup full of love. And you're very defensive about this. You want to guard this at all cost. I feel like some of you are very closed off. Okay, with the seven of wands, this person is having a wand against his chest. He's trying to be, um, you know, guard, guard himself from all these people. Who, uh, there are six wands up here, so probably six people are trying to fight him. But he is very protective. You know, he's standing up, standing his ground, in regards to what he wants, he or she. Okay, but very close of energy because again with that four of pentacles, somebody is holding on to a pentacle close to his chest and he's blocking his heart area. Hmm? So I feel like uh, some of you are hurting, but you don't want people to see that. You don't want people to know what is going on within you. All right. People might not know what is going on in your life. 
you won this so badly okay with this ace of cups you really won this to walk out yes exactly with this four of swords uh, in the traditional deck this person is uh, having us you know he's laying down there is three swords on you know hanging over his head so there is so much stress about the situation but he is in this prayer position he's trying to how you know literally pray you know for things to heal for things to resolve for things to be right again all right some of you might be dealing with another libran or probably a sagittarius moving on librans are there what is your next card please Three of Pentacles, you are putting in the work to make things right. Okay, there might be other people who might be helping out to get things back, yeah, to make things right for you. Because right now things are very much in limbo, nothing much is happening. Now, I feel like you want to put in the work. To make things right to have this future again all right but there is so much conflicts with this life wants so much conflicts queen of cups up here as well some of you are very overwhelmed right now with regards to whatever is going on or more like whatever is not happening like how things are still right now that's that's kind of too much you know, things not working out is overwhelming all right some of you might be dealing with a gemini or a cancerian or a leo or a capricorn uh the world card it's almost like uh your world is upside down upside down right now and you you are trying your best to transform the situation okay to make things right again all right librans what is your last card please see page of pentacles because you feel there is still hope to take things forward when i showed you the hangman pretty much in limbo nothing much is happening but you don't want to be stuck anymore you want things to progress some of you might be dealing with a sagittarius librans what is your next card please your next card is this one yes you want things to uh be in balance again for things to fall into its place all right yes you want things to go your way. You want to succeed. Yes, nine of wands. But there is so much anticipation about this. Whether you will get what you want or not. You're constantly uh, thinking about what has happened in the past. Very guarded. Very guarded. Very anxious. about whether this will work out or not that kind of anxiousness what is a possibility i want this but what is a possibility about it happening all right you want things to fall into its place that is why you are not willing to let go Again, strong Sagittarius energy or probably a Leo energy. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yuma Chandra Loka. I wish you luck, Librans out there. Bye-bye.